Well, what are we fixing today? Today we have a delivery. An expensive box has arrived for my business and my boss and my partner. Uh, we're getting old. We need something that's a little easier on the backs and the arms and the joints to do our imprinting on the stuff we do for dye sublimation and vinyl lettering on uh, whatever heat press stuff. So this is our new heat press. It has some special features. So let's see if we can make it all work. I don't know. Let's go. All right. I cheated a little. My wife and I opened this up just to make sure it was what we think it is. So let's show you what it is. Ish. It's a $3,000 heat press. Yay. Um, let's get it open a little more. It has air up and air down. It has two heat platters. So it sucks all the power you'd ever want to suck from a heat press. And I'm sure we got to keep this container because they will charge us for another one if we got to send it back. What's going on here? Oh, it's there. Here's what we're opening today. Weight 300 pounds. Net weight 284 pounds. So 20 pounds of skid and 280 pounds of rest. But this is what it is right there. This is the shipper. All right. That's me of aluminum. Nuts and bolts in all four shocks. Okay, I see a couple of bands in there. I should be able to pop those off. Let's cut the banding. And then cut. Now my guess is 
I'm going to put that together. If I'm going to get it in the house, I'm going to need this. And there is a thing on that one. So I guess I got to look for directions. Figure out what these are for. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this just says how to run it. Not helping me much. Well, okay, so I guess you'd put this on the back so it doesn't slide backwards, right? And you got this on the front so it don't slide frontwards. So I'm thinking this is the front, this is the back, or you could do it the other way, but that's the idea. Bucket of screws. All right. Two, four, six, eight, and it's some kind of a Allen wrench. So if you're following along at home, I don't think there's instructions for installation. So I am putting the screws in from the outside in so that the stub sticks out where it ain't gonna cut my leg when I walk by it. I am putting these in, a, wash, a washer towards the aluminum on each side. Starting out just just like that, and I have picked this thing that sticks up here for the front or back, and this thing that sticks up here for the back of the front, so that when I put that on top of there, it doesn't slide forward and back. So let's just get the rest of these on there and tighten them up. Now you don't want to over tighten these because you're tightening quarter inch bolts into some aluminum tubing, which is very light wall. So snug it up good. If later on you end up having trouble and it's loosening, I suggest putting lock washers on the underneath the nuts. That will help. All right. Now the question is, am I going to be able to deadlift 280 pounds? I'd like to make this as light as I can. Will that come out of there? Nope. land. New plan indeed. And knots. Knots are awesome not. Exclamation point. Knots are awesome. And not the other way around. I'm gonna to try to pull this over. 300 pounds over there. 300 pounds over here. It should be a battle. We should be able to make it. Oh, nice. This wasn't supposed to fall out of here. 
I don't know, these wheels have brakes. So now I'm gonna try to horse this up. Slide it that way a little bit. Use a skid to my advantage here. I don't want to pull on the heat plate, I'm pulling on the steel or aluminum or whatever it is. Okay, we are up. We are going to fall if I leave it there. All right, we're up. This slides back and forth, which I don't like. So, another strap. I don't know if that be real tight. It's enough to keep it keep it centered. The brakes off. Pull on the steel and the structure. It's hot out here. It's got to be 90s. I think it's break time. What does the thermometer say? Ninety-two? Ninety-four? Yeah, that sucked. Okay, we got the thing moved into the house. You saw that. I uh, took care of a few other things. I moved it from there into the workroom and I added an airline. So the airline, if you want to know how to do that, I used three quarter packs, made an airline. I made a video about that recently. You can take a look at that. I'll probably link it somewhere. Um, 
but I made an airline the same way. I have an air compressor in the house, so already. So you do need air for this machine. You do need compressed air. Um, so let's uh, let's show you where I, we're at here. So here's the machine. Now that is a standard whatever 30 inch or whatever kitchen counter, and as you can see, it does fit on there. We're not using the roll around. We have this counter here already, but uh, all I did was kind of flip it over after I got it in the door onto its wheels, onto its right side up, and then slid it over onto here. So this is where it's going to live. If you look over here, I have an airline and three quarter pecs coming up from the air compressor. So that's been installed. So those are the things I did offline. Now what I'm going to need to do, and I thought I'd bring you along for, is you can see I have grid on the wall for hanging stuff. It's a couple inches of space behind it. And the airline comes out of the middle of the back here. So I need a little more space for the airline. So I'm going to take, see where the scissor? I'm going to take the grid and cut it off right here and mount this part of the grid and keep it for shelving and stuff. Over there, the grid is kind of hidden behind, not really used-ish. So this this piece of grid out to here is going to get removed. So that's what we're going to do next. Well, I'm hoping you can see okay. Tried to pick my best best shots. And I'll pick up the other phone if something strange happens that I need more. But let's get this out first. I should probably put this here. Close enough. Okay. That'll keep that happy. I got one more hook over there, which I'll probably need, so I'll have to get at it. But in the short term, let's just cut this off. Gonna get no easy. Okay. Now I have a, what is that? Phillips or a screwdriver? What if this Phillips will deal? Yep. There. And there. 
I love grid. Okay. Okay. Here's the list of the stuff that came with. Some of this stuff, not quite sure. Looks like a spare part temperature probe. Which is cool. A spare part switch. And a spare part um, SSD. But then there's the things I'm interested in. I'm gonna have to flip this around a little bit. There's directions, but they're completely worthless. I mean, I've never seen more worthless directions in my life. It like tells you how to turn it on or something. Here's the mains plug. I suspect. Yeah. So what I think is going on here, it came with this tube and a few fittings. So I need to figure out which fitting will go into the wall. And I'm guessing, let's see if this one does. Well, that'll definitely go into the wall. But I think this is a slip lock fitting. I think if I just push this in there, it will seal. Yep, see, I can't pull it out. If I pull this out, I can pull it out, but that's kind of where that goes. Wow. And then this one, we're going to do the same thing. It goes, it's a slip fitting. I think this will go in there. Looks like so. Now I can hook this to the wall. There we go. Uh, probably needs to be no air on it. So I think this is probably the fill hole. All right, some air tool oil. Okay, well I got in there enough to be, where are we? Above the tube, the pickup tube. Pickup tube there. So we're good enough to run. You always want to keep track of that, make sure there's oil in there. There's an O-ring on this, so make sure that seals. And this I'm sure is the adjuster, how much oil each time. So, let's turn the air back on. All right. See it splashed around in there when I did a cycle. So the other one is for water. If you get water in your line, this is supposed to dry it out. Where's our pressure now? I gotta figure out how to make this work. Looks like a breaker. 
We have lights, temperatures, temperature set. Well, do the 300, whatever. Time set, six. Yeah, it's heating. Manual. How do you go up and down manually? I don't know. Pressure went to zero. Figured out a couple things. Figured out a couple things here. One, it said four to six kilograms, which is the little dial in the middle, not the one on the outside. So it needs to be up to like 100 psi. So got that fig figured out. The other thing is, I figured out how to make it move. If you go, there's a switch, see a screw back there? You can adjust that. But what you do is you take and you lay your stuff out, say, okay, this is my stuff, my stuff here. I get it all how I want it, and it's all pretty pretty. You roll this over. And it pops it up. Pushes that hard for that long. So how hard it pushes is based on how high you set this air, right? And how long it pushes is this. So if I wanted to go 12 seconds, I can go and then up. And then I have this one done, so I can go here. And let's go, let's, let's do quick ones. Three seconds. So that's how it works. Temperature's coming up, it's set for 300, so let's make sure it gets to 300. Lots of noise. Counter how many you've done, how long it's down, set here. Temperature. And where is it set? 300. 360 is where I print. You do your stuff, roll it over. Set for three seconds, so you do your stuff here and you roll it over. It's gonna be so nice. Switch it in the back. If you need more pressure, you can set it here. If you need less pressure, set it here by just in the air. So if you look, the air says like, Oh, okay. So it says like five bar, but you can adjust this and that will change the air pressure. Okay. And if you go like, you want to go real light. That's I think higher. Doesn't the, that, but that knob doesn't change. Whatever that says there. It does. Oh, I see it going down now. Okay. So you got something going to be really gentle with, right? Okay. I see. You put it like way over there. Okay. And then. So when you move it over, it automatically. See, and it doesn't even enough to go. So. Okay. So when you slide it, it automatically goes down. Yeah, I'll let you do it. This still lands. You're in gentle mode. 
you play. Go over there so I can get a picture. Oh, wow. I thought it would be a button. Pretty cool. And then say, you're reaching over there, oops. And you're reaching under there and it goes and your tit gets in there. Automatic release. This is the one that, this acts like it's out. Oh, that was it. See, let's see. automatic stop it basically kills the air pressure so what maybe the other one kills the power i don't know no they're both the same their turn unlocks well, that's yeah. how it works and it's in and everything's done let me see happy birthday well that's not a very good smile <laughs> there you go happy birthday Well, that's my video for today. Added a little bit of equipment for the uh, sheer, you know, because we're old, trying to make things a little easier and a little quicker. So, a, we bought this on Amazon, so if you look in the description, there's a link, and you can see, you know, what we paid for it and stuff. Didn't get any help from any manufacturers, although, you know, if somebody wants to send me a press, I'm sure I can check it out for them. Oh well. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, it was a struggle getting that thing in the house too. Holy crap, that was it was 94 degrees and 80% humidity almost. <sighs> okay. Thanks for watching. Um, give me a like if you like this thing or if you like my video. Uh, subscribe and all that stuff. There's links down below somewhere. And, um, uh, all that and uh, so until next time always be careful what you put in your heat press because it will get warm and flat bye